Hi Alberto, how are you? Hi Massimo, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, today I'm going to, we are going to do a nice demo. We are going to try to run PyDT from my machine to your PC. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, let's try. So please, can you start the server on your uh, machine? Yeah. What do you have to do to start the server? I have just to type PIDT server and put it in listening after oh. importing, of course, the common RPC model. Okay, good. So here, instead of my side, I have a Jupyter Notebook example. This is exactly the one that we have in, uh, uh, in PyDT examples, but instead of running locally, I'm going to run on your machine. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to initialize the client. And I have to start it on your machine. I have already set up in my Jupyter your machine name. Can you confirm it's MLN AD Maria? Yes, correct. Okay, and you are located in Florence. I'm in Florence. I'm okay, now so I am in Bari. So today will be a first check from Bari to Florence of PyDT. So let's connect. Uh, it's looked like something happened on your machine. Yes, I can see the service is started listening on port 18045. So after I have the client object, I just can initialize Q3D by saying client.root.q3D and then I can define on which version I would like to run, if I would like to start in graphical or non-graphical. So for this example, I'm just using a graphical mode and starting Q3D. So Q3D is starting on your machine. Yes. I see that version 21 or 2 is launching. Okay. Nice, I see it. Well, this is the first time we launch uh, electronic desktop from my machine to your. Very nice. Yeah. So after that, I will create the bus bar. So I will just create three polyline and one ground plane. And, mm -hmm. and that's it. And then it will be fit all just to notif notice uh, the, all the geometry generated. So you have three bar and one substrate. So we have Perfect. now to move to the next, so to identify the nets, and we will find three nets, and okay. then assign to those nets, we will assign source and sync in order to, to be able to run the Q3D analysis. And, and then we need to move to the setup. So I think that you have now three bar with three source and three sinks. That's correct. And then I will create my new setup at 100 megahertz. Okay, I can see the setup. And then I will change the property because of uh, the purpose of this simulation. Maybe we can put maximum number of paths to three and run it. And then I will add a sweep. Yes, I can see the sweep. I would like the sweep to, uh, to be from uh, 100 and uh, megahertz to one gigahertz. You see by default the sweep has uh, 401 points. I would like a little bit less for this uh, example. And I, so I change the property and I update it. I see the update now. And from the, ni the nice megahertz to one gigahertz. Yeah, the nice things about this uh, remote ability is that here locally I see everything of PyDT of your machine. So I can see every single settings that you have in your setup here. And after I do that, I can create the report that I'd like to, to plot the results later on. So I will create one rectangular plot and one data table. Mm -hmm. Same metal, but I just change the plot type to data table. And then I will start the analysis with four cores. So it's going running on your machine. Yes, it's running. I see the progress bar. And you will find also soon uh, the results. So it will run and produce the results directly on the plot. Great. Yeah. I see the result. 21 points. Yes. And then after I can uh, get, I now I would like to try to get the results locally on my machine. So I will get the report data here locally. It will probably take some time to download it. And then after I will try to plot with matplotlib and numpy locally the results. So it will process those data and plot the report locally. Oh, yes, I have three, uh, three lines. 
one for C11, one for C12, and one for C13. So let's compare with your report. What I have here. Exactly. Have Exactly the same. So we have uh, 3.70, then we have minus 1, and then we have min a little bit more than 1 minus 2. So great, we got exactly the same results from local machine to remote machine. And now when I finish, I can just save and close my desktop, and finally I can close the connection. So great, this is great. What do you think, Alberto? This is very exciting, really. It's amazing. So you will find this new feature in uh, PyDT 0.4.0. So please download and try it. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye.